Hello everyone. Hope you all are would be doing great. After learning finger maths and how to calculate till 99 on our fingers, today we will learn about abacus. We will learn what is abacus, how to use it for counting and calculating, its dynamics for bead movement, and how can we add and subtract units and tens on abacus. Let's start our topic of the day that is abacus. We all have seen abacus at least once in our life. Remember when we were in kindergarten or pre juniors we used to have abacus which consists of 10 beads horizontally placed. We have different forms of abacus. We also have abacus with vertical beads. But first what is abacus? Abacus is a counting tool consists of beads. It is like a manual calculator that has beads which represents number. Now you will see pictures of two abacus on your screen. First one is Chinese abacus and second one is Japanese abacus. In Chinese abacus we have two upper beads and five lower beads and in Japanese abacus we have one upper bead and four lower beads. We would be using Japanese abacus throughout our course. Abacus is the oldest device to perform arithmetic operations. On abacus, we can not only add or subtract, but we can also multiply, divide, and perform complex arithmetic operations. Let's study its component. As you can see, a picture of Japanese abacus on your screen. The outer black part is called frame of abacus. There is a black line with white dots. It is called a calculation bar. This bar divides abacus into two parts, upper parts and lower part. That is upper deck and lower deck. In upper deck, we have one bead in each rod. And in lower deck, we have four lower beads in each rod. Upper beads are called heavenly beads or upper beads. Lower beads are called earthy beads or lower beads. We have different forms of abacus available. Some are long with 17 or 12 rods while other are half abacus with 9 rods. But it doesn't matter. The only thing that matter is abacus should have one upper bead and four lower beads. That is Japanese abacus. Why Japanese abacus? Because working of finger mats and abacus are same. We have thumb which has the value 5. Similarly, upper bead on abacus also have value 5. We have 4 fingers which represents the value 1. In abacus, we have 4 lower beads. Each bead has a value 1. If you are using long abacus, then you will take the center rod as unit's rod and next left rod as tens rod. If you are using half abacus, you will take the first rod from the right as units, then tens, hundreds, and so on. Let's learn the dynamics of moving beads on abacus. We use thumb and pointer to move beads up and down on abacus. If we talk about lower beads, we always use thumb to move lower beads up, and we always use pointer to move lower beads down. For upper beads, we use pointer to move them down and we use pointer to move them up. How we will get to know which beads should be counted in our answer? Beads touching the calculation bar at the time of the answer would be counted in our final answer. If we are doing addition, we move lower beads up to touch the calculation bar and if we are doing addition on upper beads, we move it down to touch the calculation bar. For subtraction, we move lower beads down away from the calculation bar and we move upper beat up away from the calculation bar. Hopefully all the concepts related to abacus are clear to everyone. We will meet in next video. Till then, take care.